longer now. We're packaging meals for people overseas that are starving. Throughout the world, there's a billion people living on less than $2 a day. Because of that, there's up to 25,000 people dying a day of hunger-related diseases. This is the Capital District Missions event. It happens every year in January, and the purpose of it is to bring together youth from across our district, uh, from different churches, to make 20,000 meals with Stop Hunger Now, and also to share in a time of fellowship, worship, and communion. I feel it's a good thing to, you know, help the children, because if we don't do it, who's, who's gonna do it? The meals consist of soy for protein, vegetables, rice, and then a packet with 21 vitamins. The meals have everything that you need for a day. If you tasted them, they'd be a little bit on the bland side, but what we expect is that uh, wherever they go, people will add local ingredients and make, make it a local meal. They open up the Ziploc package and then they cook it and it'll make like five or six meals for them. This is something that our kids and also the kids from other churches look forward to year after year. Many churches have come for all six years and it's something that's easy to get the kids fired up about, a great way to get them involved in service and giving and sharing worship and uh, communion and fellowship together. I always come out with like a humane sense of stability when I wake up, you know what I'm saying? Just, it's just a natural thing. It allows people to very easily uh, start and do something that is so important. Uh, it only takes an hour or so, it's very simple, and it has a great impact.